Good day everyone! Today, we are going to answer the 40 review questions we posted last Monday from the fields of aquaculture, aquatic resources and ecology, capture fisheries, and post-harvest fisheries. But before we proceed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that you will be updated with our upcoming videos. If you already subscribed, Thank you for staying with us and we hope that you like and find our contents useful. So now, let's proceed. A. Dominant Question number 2 Which of the following does not belong to the group? A. Pineas B. Gracilaria C. Macrobasium and D. Portonus The answer is B. Brasilaria, the Pineas, Macrobrasium, and Portunus are all crustaceans. Gracilaria is the seaweed. For our third question, what do you call the sworn written statement charging a person with an offense signed under oath by the offended party in a peace officer or other public officer charged with the enforcement of the law violated? A. Prosecution B. Complaint C. Double jeopardy and D. Prescriptive period And the correct answer is B. Complaint Let's proceed to the next item. Question number 4 this is the results of the presence of trimethylamine oxide or TMO in the flesh. A. Blackening of tuna meat. B. Formation of melanin. C. Greening of tuna meat. And D. Browning in shrimps and prawns. And the correct answer is C. Greening of tuna meat. Question number 5. Which of the following is the major problem of tilapia culture? A. Poor tolerance to water quality. B. Low yield. C. Not disease resistant. And D. Early sexual maturity. And the correct answer is D. Early sexual maturity. We know that tilapia are good aquaculture species even in the poor water quality. They have also higher yield and usually they are disease resistant. But the problem in tilapia culture is that attain sexual maturity at just 3 months. And sometimes this leads to inbreeding if mixed sex are being produced. Question number six. Decades of studies have shown that the composition of the oceanic phytoplankton generally remains constant with a carbon nitrogen phosphorus ratio of 106 is to 16 is to 1, also known as the Redfield ratio. Given this situation, which nutrient acts as limiting nutrient for phytoplankton growth in the ocean? A. Phosphorus B. Nitrogen 
C. Carbon and D. Oxygen And the correct answer is A. Phosphorus. In this situation, phosphorus is the limiting nutrient because it occurs in lowest or minimum quantity. Question number 7. Which of the following fish species are not commonly caught using explosives? A. Mackerels or alumahan. B. Karangs or talakito. C. Tridfin beams or bisugo And D. Fusiliers or dalagang bukid The correct answer is C. Tridfin beams or bisugo Most of the species that are commonly caught by explosives are the pelagic species And usually, tridfin beams are the mersal species. Tridfin beams also are being found in areas which are beyond 10 meters. So that is why they are less likely to be affected or caught by explosives. Question number 8. The edible portion of the squid is made up of the following, except A. Mountain B. Gladius, C. Head, and D. Arms. The correct answer is B. Gladius. Mantel, head, and arms are edible portion of the squid, whereas the gladius is also known as the pen. Question number 9. How many bags of ammonium sulfate are needed for 1 hectare if 30 kg per hectare of nitrogen is recommended? A. 3 bags B. 4 bags C. 5 bags and D. 6 bags And the correct answer is D, 6 bags. So how did we get it? Ammonium sulfate, 21,0024, which means it has 21% nitrogen, no phosphorus, no potassium, and 21% sulfur. One ba in one bag of ammonium sulfate, it has 25 kilogram content. The nitrogen needed is 30 kg. It means in every bag, which is 25 kg, 21% of it is nitrogen. So we have to determine how many percent or what is the amount of nitrogen present per bag. This can be computed by multiplying the weight of fertilizer per bag by the percent of nitrogen. In this case, the percent nitrogen in ammonium sulfate is 21%. So that is 25 kg multiplied by 0.21 or 25 or uh, 21%. And the amount of nitrogen per one bag or 25 kg is 5.25 kg nitrogen. Since we needed 30 kg nitrogen, the formula for bugs needed is equal to the amount of nitrogen needed divided by the amount of nitrogen per bug. So, if the nitrogen needed is 30 kg and each bug of ammonium sulfate has 5.25 kg nitrogen, 30 divided by 5.25 is equal to 5.71 bugs which can be estimated or rounded off into six bags. Question number 10. Which does not belong to the group? A. Hold fast. B. Stipe. C. Rhizome. And D. Blade.
And the correct answer is C. Rhizome. The whole fast, stipe, and blade are parts of the seaweed. The rhizome are found in the seagrass. Question number 11. Section 86 of the amended fisheries code is about A. Unauthorized fishing. B. Engaging in unauthorized fisheries activities. C. Failure to secure fishing permit prior to engaging in distant water fishing. And D. Unreported fishing. And the correct answer is A. Unauthorized fishing. Engaging in unauthorized fisheries activities is under Section 87. Failure to secure fishing permit prior to engaging in distant water fishing is punishable under Section 88. And Section 89 encompasses unreported fishing. This can be achieved in easy way of towing whole fish provided an ample supply of clean water is available. A. Air blast towing. B. Vacuum towing. C. Towing in water. And D. Electrical methods. And the correct answer is C. Towing in water. Question number 13. Which of the following echinoderms are cultured in marine cages? A. Tripniostis gratila. B. Acanthaster flancy. C. Asterias forbisi. And D. Diadema antilarum. And the correct answer is. A. Tripnistis gratila. Tripnistis gratila is locally known as terek. It is commonly known as the gracious sea urchin. The Acanthaster flancy is the clan of terms sea star. The Asterias forbisi is the form sea star. And the Diadema antilarum is the long spine urchin. Among the four choices, so far, only the Tripnustis gratila are being commercially produced. Question number 14. A zone in which density increases with increasing depth. This zone isolates surface water from the denser layer below. A. Pecnocline B. Halocline C. Thermocline And D. None of these. And the correct answer is A. Pecnocline. The halocline is the zone of which the, there is an abrupt increase in salt concentration or salinity. The thermocline is the zone of which there is an abrupt decrease in temperature. Question number 15. Which of the following does not belong to the group? A. Handline. B. Fish pot. C. Long line. And D. Jigger. And the correct answer is B. Fish pot. The hand lines, long lines, and jiggers are all made of line, wherein the fish pot are made of net. Question number 16. What is the standard headspace for cans? A. 6% of the content volume. B. 8% of the content volume. C. 5 sixteenth inch. And D. 3 sixteenth inch. And the correct answer is D, 3 16th inch. Question number 17. These chemicals are routinely added to most fish diets 
to prevent fats from becoming rancid in storage. What are these? A. Emulsifiers B. Antibiotics C. Antioxidants and D. Pigments And the correct answer is C. Antioxidants Question number 18 Which of the following is a native species? A. Pumasya canaliculata B. Pangasunodon gigas C. Claras macrocephalus and D. Or promise niloticus. And the correct answer is C. Clarias macrocephalus. Pumasya canaliculata or the golden apple snail is an exotic or introduced species. Together with Pangasinodon gigas or the giant freshwater catfish and Oreochromis niloticus or the Nile tilapia. Next question. The regular patrolling of Bantay Dagat in the respective municipal waters is an example of blank. A. Monitoring B. Control C. Surveillance and D. Observation And the correct answer is C. Surveillance Question number 20 It refers to the number of minutes at a specific temperature required to destroy a specific number of pathogenic organisms. A. R value B. Z value C. K value and D. F value And the correct answer is D. F value. Question number 21. Why is it that treating viral diseases is difficult? A. Viruses are too small to be affected by therapeutic drugs. B. Viruses are well encapsulated. C. Viruses easily escape by quickly infecting other host cells. And D. Viruses are hidden inside the host cells. And the correct answer is D. Viruses are hidden inside the host cells. Question number 22. Which of the following does not belong? A. Kapapaikus B. Enteromorpha C. Kaolerpa and D. Halimeda And the correct answer is A. Kapapaikos Among the four choices, Kapapaikos is the only red algae or under the pylum rhodopaita wherein Enteromorpha, Kaolerpa and Halimeda are green algae under the pylum chloropyta. Question number 23. Limited access is a fishery policy by which a system of equitable resource use and allocation is established by law. Which of the following is an example of limited access? A. Licensing B. Research activities C. Stock assessments and D. Boat ad measurements. And the correct answer is A. Licensing. Question number 24. This is a chemical poisoning caused by eating tuna and macarons. What is this? A. Paralytic shellfish poisoning. B. Histamine poisoning. C. Ciguatera poisoning. And D. 
tetraodon poisoning. The correct answer is B. Histamine poisoning. Question number 25. Compute for the feed conversion ratio or FCR of your cultured species if the current average body weight or AVW is 200 grams compared before which is 170 grams and your 1,000 pieces stocks were fed 30 kilograms for that duration. A. 1.0 B. 1.06 C. 1.6 and D. 0.96 And the correct answer is A. 1.0 So, how did we compute it? The given R the current AVW, which is 200 grams or 0.2 kilogram. The previous average body weight or the 170 grams or 0.17 kilogram. The number of stocks, which is 1,000 pieces. And the feed given during that period, which is 30 kilogram. So the formula for FCR is equal to the feed consumed divided by the weight gain, which is also equal to the feeds, con feeds consumed divided by weight final or the current AVW minus weight initial or the initial AVW multiplied by the number of stocks. In this case, 30 kilogram divided by 0.2 minus 0.17 multiplied by 1,000 pieces. So that is 30 kilogram divided by 30 kilogram FCR is 1.0, meaning in every kilogram of feeds given, it is being converted into 1 kilogram of flesh. Question number 26. Which of the following is not part of the crop's life cycle? A. Instar B. Megalopa C. Trocopor and D. Soya. And the correct answer is C. Trocopor. Instar, Megalopa, and Zoya are all part of the crab's life cycle. Or in Trocopor is part of the mollusk life cycle. Question number 27. This is a type of chromatophore responsible for the rediscoloration in fish. A. Melanopore B. Santopore C. Cyanopore and D. Eretopore And the correct answer is D. Eretopore Melanopore is the black coloring cell. Santopore is the chromatopore responsible for the yellow color. And cyanopore is the coloring cell responsible for the blue color. Question number 28. What is the best relative humidity in smoking? A. 60% B. 70% C. 50% and D, 65%. And the correct answer is A, 60%. 60% is the best relative humidity used in smoking fish. Question number 29. Which of the following is not a fungal disease? A, ectoponiasis. B. Gilrat C. Saprolinasis and D. Vibriosis And the correct answer is D. Vibriosis Ectipunasis, Gilrat and Saprolinasis are fungal diseases 
wherein vibriosis is a bacterial disease. Question number 30. Plants living on the surface of another plant are termed A. Epiphytes B. Endophytes C. Ectophytes and D. Enphytes And the correct answer is A. Epiphytes Usually, Epiphytes are microscopic or too small that are found in the leaves of the plants. Question number 31. Which of the following statements about fish mussel is false? A. Red mussel comprise about 90% of fish mussel. B. White mussel is used for quick and abrupt swimming of fish and for short distance. C. Red muscle is used for long, maintained, and continuous swimming motion. And D. White muscle lacks hemoglobin and myoglobin, giving the dark coloration. And the correct answer is A. Red muscle comprised about 90% of fish muscle. This statement is wrong or false because Mostly, the red mussel comprises only about 10% of fish mussel, and it is on the white mussel which can uh, it is surprised about 90% of the fish mussel. Question number 32. Which of the following is the picocolloid extract from sargassum? A. Agar. B. Alginate. C. Carraginan. And D. Alginic acid. And the correct answer is, I guess in this item there are two correct answers. B. Alginate and D. Alginic acid. Both the alginate and alginic acid can be extracted from the brown algae sargassum. Question number 33. Art del Rosario draw a cast net and cut 30 pieces of prong weighing 425 grams. What is the average body weight of the prong he sampled? A. 15.75 grams B. 15.29 grams C. 35.17 grams and D. 14.17 grams And the correct answer is D, for 10.17 grams. So, how do you solve it? The given are the number of prone sampled, which is 30 pieces, and the weight of prone sampled, which is 425 grams. So, the formula for average body weight is equal to the weight of samples divided by the number of samples. In this case, 425 grams divided by 30 pieces, which is equal to 14.17 grams a piece. Question number 34. Ochropites are also known as blank. A. Green algae. B. Brown algae. C. Red algae. And D. Blue-green algae. And the correct answer is B. Brown algae. Green algae are also known as the chloropites. Brown algae, aside from being called as ochropites, are also known as formerly known as peopites. And red algae are also called as the rhodopites. Question number 35. The incoming type which increases the le tide level in a certain locality is termed as A. Spring tide B. Nip tide C. Flood tide and D. Ebb tide
And the correct answer is C, flood tide. Usually, the direction of the tide or the flood tide is the on, towards the land. And a spring tide, it happened during the full and the new moons, and it is being characterized having high high tide and low low tide. Nip tide, which also also happens every first and last quarter, is characterized by having low high tide and high low tide. On the other hand, ebb tide is the opposite of the flood tide because ebb tide is the receding tide or the tide of which the direction is towards the sea. Question number 36. This enzyme is found in pineapples. What is this? A. Papain B. Proteases C. Trypsin and D. Bromelin. And the correct answer is D. Bromelin. Bromelin is the enzyme found in pineapples. Papain is the enzyme from the papaya. The proteases and trypsins are both enzymes which catalyzes proteins. Question number 37. What are the possible offsprings when normally pigment and albino fish were crossed? A. All are normally pigmented. B. One normally pigmented, one albino. C. One normally pigmented, three albinos. And D. Three normally pigmented and one albino. And the correct answer is B, one normally pigmented and one albino, or one is to one ratio. So, how do we get it? So, the normally pigmented usually has the capital letter A and small letter A, in the albino has all small letter A. Using the Punnett square, so we can uh, make a square and then we just cross all the possible offspring so you will have two normally pigmented and two albinos so into lowest term one normally pigmented and one albino are the possible offsprings or 50 50. question number 38 the literal meaning of this aquatic animal group is spiny skin. A. Mollusks B. Nidarians C. Prostatians and D. Echinoderms And the correct answer is D. Echinoderms Mollusks come from the Latin word mollis means soft. So organisms under the pylomollusca are soft-bodied organisms. Nidarians or nidaria from the pylom nidaria come from the Latin word nidos meaning stinging needle. So all organisms under the pylom nidaria have a stinging needle in them. Whereas Crustaceans, from the Greek word crusta, means having crust or hard shell, and all organisms under the class crustacea have crust or hard shell as a covering of their body. Question number 39, our second to the last question. This is a large system of permanent rotating ocean current. A. Guyots. B. Eddies C. Gyres and D. Cyclones And the correct answer is C. Gyres 
Guyots are seamounts or underwater mountains that have built up from the ocean floor. Eddies have circular current of water. And cyclones are rotating organized system of clouds and thunderstorms that originates over tropical or subtropical waters and has closed low level circulation. And now for our final question. Question number 40. This sewage is locally known as gulaman. What is this? A. Acanthopora specifera. B. Caulerpa racemosa. C. Hydroclatros clatratus. And D. Gracilaria birocosa. And the correct answer is D. Gracilaria birocosa. Acanthopora specifera is locally known as Colot, whereas Caulor Parasimosa is locally known as Lato. I think that's all for our the answers of the 40 preview questions. And now, it's time to reveal the winners 